once you start getting to the PhD level, once you start getting to the CEO level, once you start getting to master sommelier level, um, women start dropping off. And it's not because they're not capable, it's just perhaps they're doing other things in their lives. I know for myself personally, I was having two kids, and that certainly put um, another level of difficulty, let's say. Jennifer Huther, Master Sommelier with Jackson Family Wines, and I'm a prestige account manager for Canada. It was a bit of a boys club before, and truthfully, a lot of the men would order wine for um, their partners. And now what you find is that women are just as knowledgeable. It's changed the audience, and it's changed the, um, the conversation with more females in the business, more female winemakers even as well as more female sommeliers and master sommeliers. Um, it's just, it's softened, I wanna say, the industry in a way. And I think what it's done also is it's really opened up women to the idea of getting to know wine, collecting on their own, understanding food and wine matching. Master Sommelier is the highest designation that you can achieve academically for, um, for being a sommelier. It took me six years on my master's alone. It's about a 1% pass rate. I was so focused um, academically on achieving this. I wasn't really uh, concerned about being the first female. I knew that there were not that many out there in the world. And not only do you need to pass theory, which at the master's level is all um, verbal, so you have to be really good at answering questions verbally and thinking like that, um, but you have to pass a tasting as well. What you have to do um, to become a really great sommelier is you have to connect those neurons in your brain with recognizing and identifying what you're smelling in a glass of wine to what that is and that takes a lot of practice. Hundreds of little um, jars, if you will, of different spices and things. I would macerate all kinds of fruit and i put some tin foil on it, poke holes, and I would just practice smelling all of these different things and in, in, I didn't know what they were um, to help connect the dots there. I think you have to be willing to work very hard. You have to be willing to work very long hours when you start out, you will be probably working in a restaurant and you'll be dealing with people all day long. There is no right or wrong answer when it comes to wine. It's really all about what you like and what resonates with you. And I find that if you love wine, as you go through the journey of wine, your palate changes. Explore and have fun. You don't need to spend a lot of money. You can spend $15, $20 and pick up something. Boxed wine is for camping. <laughs> <laughs> canoeing, um, being stuck out in a forest somewhere for some reason, um, or the apocalypse, really. Yeah. We should talk. <laughs> no. Thanks for watching Global News. If you enjoyed what you just saw, please like the video. Also, hit the subscribe button on the screen to make sure you get all the latest international news and best trending video.